Um, five. One, two, it's crowded in here. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can put my eye to this. Why, is it a video? Yes. Oh, man. You were going like this, only photographers go like that. Hang on, yeah. Hey, leave him alone. Are you changing my thought right now I'm getting Never. Never. No, I'll take that back. It is my first day in Salt Lake City. It's about 11 a.m. right now, and I am here trying to get a smoothie, finally. Although, it was about a 22-minute drive, which is a bit far to go for a smoothie, just for a smoothie. Um, I took Riley out for a walk this morning. I also let her run around in the backyard. There's a lot of green out here. I love it. You see grass everywhere, which is fantastic. Every house has grass. And um, later, me and Jose are going to go to Antelope State Park, which is like a little island area northwest of here. And there they have free roaming bison. You might see some antelope and uh, maybe coyotes. I don't know, there's just a lot of wildlife roaming around there that um, I think for the most part I want to try my best to do outdoor stuff because I saw like there's an aquarium here that looks really cool. Like I'm still, I'm sure it's still worth checking out. Um, there's also a natural history museum, but I don't think it's open right now, which is a bummer because I would love to see it. There is a fine arts museum also. There's a zoo, but San Diego has a zoo already and I don't really think I need to see more animals. So... I just feel like even though I'm a little concerned about the state park because there's a bunch of bugs, apparently there's a shitload of bugs. I don't have bug spray, but I'm wearing long pants and I'm probably going to bring like a sweatshirt with me, even though it's hot today. I'm just going to pick up the smoothie and then probably head back. Tatanka. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. You're so smart. You're like, watch, we're gonna see one right by the road later. Oh, is it taking a dump? Oh, it's taking a dump! I'm so blessed for this experience. A herd of buffalo. How cool is this? This is really cool. I did not expect to see this at all coming here today. So I decided to go out a little bit before going to the aquarium and I picked this random ass spot on the map just because it has a body of water. So this is kind of what I do on vacation. I pretty much, since there's a few places in the city that are closed, like the museum that I would want to visit or maybe the fine arts museum, um, I pretty much want to enjoy nature as much as possible when I go on these trips because that the terrain and the landscape and everything will be different than San Diego and I want to go out and appreciate it. So I really, really like the mountains out here because it's filled with green. I love the fact that there's green everywhere here. So I wanted to drive east into the mountains and then I figured finding a random body of water would be great. So here is some. Uh, this seems like it's right next to a golf course though. And I think earlier, I passed by a no trespassing sign, so I don't feel that comfortable staying here. So I might continue walking down. I think I have about 40 minutes to explore. This is so beautiful. I wish I had access to this more in San Diego. Some fucking filthy ass guy just passed by with his feet out the window. All right, cross the other. No, no, no. Turn this way. Good. This way, good. No, this way is good. Get your legs together. <laughs> My legs like this? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, how? What are you doing? Listen. I, I'm not a model or. Sit. Get your legs together. I, I don't want to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I can't do that. I said that guys have to do with their legs open. They need so all the way like this? Like this. <laughs> right. 
I know it's a video. What? There's some raw salmon with some avocado. Mm -hmm. and some spicy mayo. I don't mm -hmm. know what else it has in it. Mm -hmm. It's a little spicy. A little spicy. Mm. We're here before our horseback trail ride. I'm excited. I'm so happy they did this. Wasabi in a fucking package. Oh. Because it always gets in our sushi. I know. Next time we should just tell them. Don't put any. Yeah, I guess we They can. add ginger too. Spring water. Yes. Two miles deep. <laughs> two miles deep. deep through fractures <laughs> you don't even read more. You just read two miles deep. Yeah, that's all Meaningless. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 9.6 pH. I don't know. The higher the number, the better. The uh, lower the number, the better. I don't know. I don't know. We should look into that. Okay, hopefully, you guys can hear me over the background noise because the highway is right here. But um, I feel like for most of today, I haven't gotten to talk to the camera. And it does become a little difficult. I don't know what it is. I can't believe that I'm shy sometimes about recording a video log in front of Jose. Sometimes I just feel like I want to keep it to myself or I'm like, ooh, let me try to do it where he can't hear me. But um, it's about seven, close to eight o'clock, I think. Yeah, it should be close to eight o'clock now. And um, I'm out here because after I record this, I'm gonna fetch a little bit with Riley in the yard. And then uh, we're probably gonna go out really quick and buy some water because we're out. And I do feel like I have been dehydrated a bit recently and then maybe finish watching Dances with Wolves. Uh, his first time watching it, and we're only halfway in, so we still have two hours to go. But yeah, it sucks that he doesn't have time off work because he is taking some time now to work. And um, today was a pretty good day. We went on a horseback riding trail, but before that, we kind of walked around, explored a bit. Hi, Puppas. You want to say hello to the camera? Yeah, we did a horseback riding trail. We went to Temple Square, which is, I think, a really, really large Mormon church. And we also, what else did we do? I guess we kind of got some, went to buy some water. I don't know, we kind of burned some time within two hours before our trail ride. And then trail ride, I kind of wanted some smoothie again. And then got some Taiwanese food. I got fried rice and now we're back here, so. I feel like if I spend most of the afternoon out and exploring, I'm happy to be home in the evening. Tomorrow is going to be so exciting actually, I'm doing whitewater rafting. I'm very excited about that. Um, I feel like I don't do enough water activities and it'll be nice to not take Riley with me this time so I can just like let go and enjoy instead of feeling like I kind of, you know, need to watch over her and all of that. Okay, I feel like I've spent enough time talking, so I'm going to play some fetch with the puppers. Hello, good morning. Hopefully this doesn't look too terrible, but I am on a hike. This is my first hike here in Salt Lake City area, Utah, whatever you want to call it. And I woke up at about 6.30. Um, I went to bed pretty early, like I was around, I was finished getting ready for bed around 10.30. So I was lying in bed. Honestly, it took me a really long time to fall asleep, at least three hours. So I don't really feel that terrible, but I might consider taking a nap later. But it is really gorgeous out here. This is a really, really nice hike, honestly. And I've only seen one woman and her dog, but she was respectful, so that went over really well. I haven't woken up early to take her on a hike in a pretty long time. Like I just stopped doing it in San Diego and I haven't been really going anywhere like vacation wise since uh, last July. Come, good. Good girl. Break, good. <laughs> so I have been exploring the Olympic Park by myself, just walking around, and I found myself not really knowing where to go, 
and then I ended up going down these stairs and then I still have much more to go and uh, truthfully I do think I am quite afraid of heights so it hasn't been the most pleasant experience I'm also wearing sandals so with this type of design sometimes my sandals get stuck I guess like this it kind of gets clipped in so I'm trying to be really careful but I'm actually kind of agitated like yeah what am I doing this is not the right way to go great I need to go back fuck it hi I am finally back in my car and it is such a relief so I decided to drive to Park City out of the blue just to find something to do and the main reason for that is because that is where the Sundance Film Festival is held so I figured oh why not let's go check it out I couldn't really figure out what else I wanted to do in Salt Lake City and um, it also drove through 80 route 80 east through the mountains so I was really excited about that but um, I randomly came across the Utah Olympic Park and decided to turn in here and ended up walking around pretty much the entire thing which was a little bit annoying because I wore freaking sandals today and there were some downhill portions on dirt roads or trails that I wasn't really anticipating when I freaking left the house today and uh, also found myself on some steep stairs thinking that that is the way down when it led to nowhere so that was really unsettling for me because I'm really afraid of heights but I am finally back I guess I can view this as a pretty good workout I was outside for a lot I got some nice pictures it was really beautiful out here it's almost five o'clock I think I'm just gonna head back because I think I've done a lot of exercise today. I did some hiking this morning and then I walked around here. I, th I, I think I was walking for two hours out in the sun and my freaking sandals. So I think I'm good. Um, I've always been very genuine with you guys. So I'm definitely not going to provide too much detail. But I just want to mention that uh, this vacation didn't turn out the way I thought it would when it comes to coming with somebody else. I've never done a vacation with someone before outside of my third boyfriend when I went with him to Florida and we drove together and that definitely didn't go well mainly because it was not a good relationship but um, this one I'm finding challenging because there's a gap in uh, just the way we are. He's more lax and I'm a bit more strict and stern about things, a bit more firm. So that has led to some conflict. Even though there has been conflict, I'm trying to make sure that I'm still uh, taking the opportunity to go out and explore. I'm not going to let conflict with somebody um, discourage me or what am I trying to think of like I don't want it to put me in such a mood that I'm just not interested in doing anything I don't want to be like that right even if you have conflict with somebody you can still go out and do your own thing and enjoy yourself that is the most important thing in my opinion that I make the most of this so um, I do like that I have been able to explore on my own today because he doesn't seem like a very active person when it comes to looking for stuff to do. I, I don't really want to always feel like I'm that person to suggest things because it's kind of similar to how I am when it comes to initiating anything. I don't like being the only person to initiate. I would like them to reciprocate and initiate as well, but some people might not have that personality. So um, I just, I don't want to sometimes feel like I'm waiting around. I went to the bubble tea place here, Kung Fu Tea is my spot, right? I always go to Kung Fu Tea in San Diego. That's the only place I get bubble tea from. But the Kung Fu Tea here in Salt Lake City sucks ass. So if you're looking for bubble tea and you want some, don't get it from Salt Lake City. Right after my hike, I took Riley to this park thinking, you know, before it gets cool, I want to let Riley 
take a walk with me and enjoy the day a little bit more because you know during the afternoons here it's really hot so I don't want to take her out when it's 85 degrees and, so, and stuff um, so I took her to the park and I was like I can't drink and walk her and have everything in my hands so I kind of chugged it before I took her out and then we walked for like five minutes before I was like you know what? I'm a bit too tired for this so I went back to the Airbnb and I took a lovely nap it was fantastic I slept for like maybe three hours it felt wonderful so then I took a shower I ate some lunch and then I drove out here so overall I'd say I had a pretty good day and then when I get back I'll probably watch another movie I watched Unforgiven yesterday with Clint Eastwood Gene Hackman Richard Harris Morgan Freeman I think those are the main ones it was it wasn't bad but I don't think I can say I liked it 